What is one word to describe James Dolan? As the father of three little girls mm -hmm. who really appreciates a Disney brand product because I always know they're safe. Mm -hmm. And because we're on ESPN as a family show, I cannot use the one word that comes to mind to describe Dolan. However, two other words come to mind. Villain, and if you've ever dealt with the Knicks, until I like this new regime they have in place. Um, so far, it's promising. But for, for years and years and stretching into decades, if you've dealt with the Knicks culture of paranoia, which starts at the top of fish rots from the head down, Dolan is a rotten fish head. I mean, he's a villain. So that's the first word mm -hmm. that, I, that comes to mind. But the other word is hilarious. If you read Ian O'Connor, who does a great job, consistently. One of the great, great no writers question, No America. question. Another great job. If you read his piece, Dolan thinks of himself as a street fighter. His father's a billionaire. What street are you fighting on, James? Are you joking? I would think hilarious. That's the other word. So I've come up with a word that combines the two. Okay. Valarious. Oh, that's Valarious great. is the word that comes to mind with James Dolan. He is a, a hilarious villain. He is Valarious. Okay. Honestly, in all seriousness, the word that comes to my mind about James Dolan is liability. He's a liability. Since he took over in 1999, the New York Knicks have one division crown, six playoff appearances, and 14 losing seasons. Kevin Durant, from what I'm being told, is completely playing them. Not him personally, but the people who work with Kevin Durant represent them. They're giving the Knicks the impression that they will be considered. I am being told there's no way in hell that's going to happen. Um, I don't know that to be the case. Let me be very, very clear. I'm only telling you what I hear covering the NBA. Um, and it is completely and totally believable that that is the case. Because that has been the case with the New York Knicks. When they went to talk to LeBron James years ago, not only did they bring Dan Tony there, not only did Dolan go there talking about Wall Street, but Donnie Walsh, highly respected, and we all revere him because of his tenure as an executive in the NBA, but he showed up in a wheelchair. And when you look at it from that perspective, that's just not the kind of imagery that you want to give to a marquee star who's thinking about coming to your franchise and spending years upon years there because you want the semblance of some stability. So these are the kind of things that have happened to the New York Knicks. Very few people think about coming there. If you want to come there, you're going to have to overpay just to get somebody to come there. And it's never because of Steve Mills. It's never because of, it's not going to be because of Scott Perry. It wasn't even because of Isaiah Thomas when he was there or Mike Woodson or anybody else. It is religiously and consistently because the presence of James Dolan gives the impression that this team will always be on a fast track to nowhere because there are too many things that get in the way no, of I, basketball. He, ever, he has been described to me by multiple people who have sat through meetings with him as this is how it was described to me. The dumbest guy in the room who thinks he's the smartest guy in the room. And that guy's actually in control because he is the son of a billionaire who built up the business. He was it, it, in, the, in the article. It, you, know, you know, Dolan does not like the fact, it was stated explicitly, that he was born on third base and thought he hit a triple. The Ann Richards line about George mm -hmm. W. Bush back in the day. But he was obviously born on third base and thought he had a triple. You want to know who he is? This is the yeah. guy who pays rock bands money so he can open for them, so the paying customers are forced to listen to him because he, he in his fantasy True. he wants to be a rock star. The, I mean, the, uh, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I don't even want to go. I don't even want to go where I'm going to go. I'm just going. I'm just going to leave it. Can be. I it's throw just, it's just, at you? Go ahead. Go ahead. I think it's interesting. They're the only team with an African American head coach. Good for him. It, because yeah, you know why? GM because you know why, Molly? And because president. it's not no, so I'm black and white. It, it doesn't mean that James Dolan is all bad. No, no, or he's but a I'm bad saying, person. And, and the league's primarily African American. Was, Maybe you'd yeah. like here's, to play for that. Here's another place. That, here's another place where I was going to go. I will say this. In Fisdale, players who play under him swear by him from the standpoint that he takes care of them. Mm -hmm. When Tyson Chandler's mother was ill, Tyson Chandler didn't even practice with the team. He would literally have a private jet, bring him to a yeah. game on game also day. Also in the article. And yeah. when he finished, he would fly the private jet back Human home to his mom. Human beings are complicated. He, he right. was raising money for cancer. He wanted to get all that out there for PR purposes, obviously. I'm, I'm not even talking about the article. I'm That's not, talking, I'm not saying James Dolan is an all-bad guy. I'm saying he's a horrible owner of the New York Knicks. He is a self-involved, apparently to me, from what the information I can gather, self-important, 
um, a, a head of a, an organization that he's run in a paranoid fashion for, for his tenure until very, very recently, mm -hmm. and now he's trying to put a PR I'm told spin on I'm told they'll never get anybody of marquee status as long as he's there. That's what they say. Right. right. Whether it's true or not remains to be seen.